Yo, what it is, dudes? It's your boy Zero Chill, and as you can tell, this is not an African game. I've been brought on by Supercell to be one of their content creators, and this is their latest game, Squad Busters. Now, Supercell needs no introduction. You know them, you know them well. They make Clash Royale, Clash of Clans, Heyday, Boom Beach. I know you all played Brawl Stars. This is their latest one. It came out globally in May. I didn't find out about it until the middle of June. I was a little bit behind the eight ball. Consequently, I had to find a way to fast track myself so I wouldn't be left in the dust. And those tips I learned to keep me on top of the game, I'm going to be sharing with you today. What's a girl to a cop? This first tip was actually an absolute game changer for me. And it's real simple. Don't push the play button twice. Why? Because that starts the game and you don't want to do that. You don't want to go into this game blind. You don't want to get blindsided. You want to know what you're dealing with and what you're going to have to work with. So by pushing the play button once, you'll see 15 tiles, five commons, five rares, five epics. That's not all of your cards, but those are the only ones that you'll be able to use in this game. That is gold because now you won't get blindsided. Looking at this, looking at this uh, setup, I won't go into the match expecting a Greg when he's not there and I don't have him. So now I can plan ahead the comps that I want to use to set myself up to win. Next, you want to learn the maps. You want to learn the mods because now that you know your team comp, you can figure out which ones you want to use for each particular mod and map because some characters work better for some mods and some maps. In the early game, there's only two things that matter, speed and coins. And you get your coins by farming. Early game, you want to be old McDonald. You want to farm, farm, farm. Don't worry about killing people. Don't worry about killing big enemies. All you want to do, if you have a farmer like Mavis or Greg, pull carrots, chop trees, run to the next section, pull carriage, chop trees, or if you have somebody like Goblin or even Bo, then you want to be farming monsters, hit all the weak minions, get all the coins you can so you can open all the chests that you possibly can. You want to use those to do two specific things. One, you want to build your army up, but then two, you want to make sure that you fuse. Fused characters are not only more powerful, fused characters have higher health. Higher health obviously makes you harder to kill and you want that. Now, you don't want to fuse everybody, but you want to fuse the main ones. You're going to want to fuse a farmer. You're going to want to fuse a main DPS, and you might want to fuse a tank. Don't go too crazy fusing everybody because then you'll get overwhelmed by mobs of small guys and they can still take you out. But try to find your three most important ones. Fuse them and then everybody else just build, 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 and run with a bunch of little guys. Remember to pay attention to the clock. The enemies get stronger the closer you get to the center. And as you get bigger, as you get stronger, and as your chests become more expensive, you're not going to be able to open as many by farming the little guys around the outside. Also, when you come down to like the last 15, 20 second dash and everybody's running to the middle to kill each other, you don't want to be too far away because you don't want to be left out, especially if you're not currently ranked in the top five. So keep your eye on the clock. That way, you know, OK, I've started outside. I'm farming. I'm farming. Let me work my way to the middle. Oh, OK. Now I see what time it is and I see I've only got a certain amount of seconds left. Let me go towards the middle. Start farming everything in the middle. That way you are already set in the middle, primed and strong by the time the end of the battle happens. Now. That being said, you're going to have to watch out for the guys in the middle. They will be trying to ambush you. They will be trying to take your coins. They will be trying to bust your squad. The thing about squad busters is you don't have to finish first place. You only have to finish in the top five. So don't try to kill everybody. If you run in, farm the majority of the game, pop a couple of people, stay around the outside, you're good. You don't have to try to get everybody out. You don't have to try to get first place. 
and squad busters fighting is usually considered a bad thing because even if you win, your squad will be weakened and somebody else will just run up and take you out. So you only want to fight if you absolutely know you can win. Now, there are things you can do to kind of maximize your chances. And the main thing would be don't take somebody on head on. What you want to do is penetrate their back line and hit them from the rear and pause. That didn't sound that sounded bad. That's not how I meant it, but that's exactly how it should go. In games like this, you have your front line, which is the tank. And those guys are strong behind them. You have your damage behind them. You have your support. You have your suppliers. You have your healers. Those guys are weak. So what you want to do is get those guys and hit them in the behind, which that didn't sound right either, but you get the point. You want to attack from the back. Another really good thing to remember in combat is you don't have to kill the whole squad. You can kill one of the guys in the back, two of the guys in the back, and they will drop gems. You pick those gems up and that might be all you need to get you in the fifth place. Remember the goal here is to finish in the top five. As long as you can keep that win streak going and stay in the top five, that's what you need to win. You probably already know this, but the reason why finishing top five is so important is because you get bonus taps on the chest at the end. The more taps you get, the better the better the pull you're going to get from the chest. If you're finishing below fifth place, you're not going to get as big as a bonus, and that's detrimental if you're a free-to-play character because it'll take you forever to level up that way. Make sure you finish top five. Keep that win streak going. Now, I'm not going to lie. This next tip blew my mind. I didn't get to do it in game, so I'm going to show you here in training mode, and that's the fact that you can aim spells like what like poof, mine was blown instead of just pushing the button you can tap hold and you can control the direction of what you're throwing what's beautiful about that is it also works with bombs and if you don't have a greg or a mavis then you can throw a bomb at a tree or at a, par a carrot patch and it'll clear it out and you can get some quick gems and some quick coins. Like, wow. And that about brings this video to a close. Hopefully you learned something that will be able to help you out. Let me know in the comments. In the meantime, if you haven't already done so, go ahead and hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, tell your friends to do it, tell your friends to tell their friends to do it, tell your friends to tell their friends to tell their friends to do it, and I'll see you dudes the next time on Busting Squads. Also, if you're in game and wanna squad up, Hit me up. My name in game is Stitched Snitch. Come find me, Stitch Snitch. Peace. What's a girl to a cop?